Who else has to die before the law begins to bind? This is the question that is reoccurring at the mass funeral of seven victims of a free state farm attack. Five farm workers, the farmer's wife and her son, were buried on Saturday in Castel. Moluku Moloto was there and filed this report. Mourners, young and old, braved the cold weather to pay their respects to victims of Castel farm attack. Distraught families battled to hold back tears as coffins of their loved ones lay before them. For this, Retief combined school peoples who are mourning the death of fellow grade 10 schoolmate, 17-year-old Rudy Bindo. The occasion was simply too much to bear. Some of those who took to the podium called for the rule of law to be strengthened. <laughs> It's also the trigger happy. Yeah. Oh, now law enforcement, how to me on such tunya, o tunye, we put a hangar, or a hotel is allowed. Marabona have a center, one of the who also was seen to you. So, if I can't sit there, I can't go. Go on, I'll go to Chinchani. Castle out, Gala, who is the Halajin. The house and Banaba to Abla. The province is in a band of Abla. Agriculture and Land Reform Minister Tokoti Diza was among the mourners. These workers made a contribution to the economy of this country. Ubabu Smith and many farmers here give employment opportunities to people who might not have had any hope to get a job tomorrow. It is therefore painful when many farmers and farm workers and rural communities get maimed and killed in such a brutal way. As the Castle Seven are laid to rest, is their brutal killing and the never-ending violent crime that will remind South Africans that they live in a country where criminals have no regard for human life. Now that the families have buried their loved ones, a new chapter begins for those left behind. Muluku Mulot, Castel, Free State.